Um, I believe after all the time killing, um, we actually waited in line for the Soul Eater panel. Where, more yeah, where Larry Clark, Monica Riel, and what was his name? Kent, Kent Williams. I like that guy. Yeah, I like that guy too. Um, it's such a shame I didn't get an autograph from the guy because, uh, again, I don't know who he was until he started listing his roles. Uh, the only role I remember him from is Dr. Giro from the uh, Android side. I, I recognize his voice as, narr as a narrating voice, like me, you, Hawk, Show, and FMA. Uh, oh, yeah, he was a narrating voice uh, too. I. I Yusuke. He did want the narrator voice for Sergeant Frog too, but hmm. I'm not going to go into details because he didn't have time. Hmm. He wouldn't have to <laughs> No, he wasn't. Um, but we did ask him a question of like, if there's a show they want that they wanted to get, and but they were disappointed that they didn't get. Uh, we actually asked him some really good questions and whatnot. But before before I went to the panel. I was just walking up and down the hall to see what was going on, and uh, they had like two viewing rooms of anime. Um, <laughs> one of them had Full Metal Alchemist, I'm not sure which one, it's probably Brotherhood since it's the most recent. And um, the other one was like Love Hina, I'm like, oh hey Love Hina's on, WAIT A MINUTE! <laughs> I was walking right out, I was like, why am I, why do I give a shit? <laughs> And then some person who was giving me funny faces um, whenever I saw him or passed by him at the uh, convention, you know, he was like giving this, you're so familiar face and whatever. I'm like, he does look familiar to me, but I never saw this person in my life. And um, it wasn't until I, you know, kind of expressed my discontent for love for that guy, uh, to that guy or something. Uh, he started bringing the show up or whatever, and I was like, oh, jeez, man, I can't, I, 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 that, that show sucks, I hate that show, and then all of a sudden he goes, yeah, I would know, I'm subscribed to you. So I found a subscriber of mine, it may not be as many as 20, like Big Al always claims to have, uh, meet during his convention travels, but I got a subscriber of uh, mine, his name is Jordan, hey Jordan. And uh, we actually shot the shit and uh, talked, and he was actually a really nice guy. He was a nice guy towards me, and you know, really cool. Um, uh, my fan base is apparently normal for some reason. That is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, he, Jake, and I decided to go to the Soul Eater panel together, ask some questions to the voice actors, um, had some hilarious stories, some funny things to say. Um, and then came the uncensored 18, uh, 18 plus, which means they can tell some really messed up stories, and they are not, they they use profanity and whatnot. We almost didn't make it to that uh, to that panel because it was in the same room, and it was over. I thought we could sit and wait. But then we got kicked out because they were trying to get an ID check to make sure people are older, are 18 and older. Fair enough. Well, the minute we got out, the line was this fucking. Okay, it looped around. It made a hook all over the walls or whatever. So it was a pretty fucking long line. And we were like, okay, whatever. There's not going to be enough people to get fit in that room, but. We'll still, we'll still, uh, we'll, we'll still try to go or whatever. Um, we were like, I was like, what, two, two, one or two people were ahead of me, or just one? Uh, about that many people. Uh, then they, then the person closes the door and says, stop, we can't let any more people into this room. We're sorry, we're out of chairs. And a lot of people were kind of like stunned by that, including me. I was actually really ticked off. Um, we couldn't put any more chairs or nobody could volunteer to sit, volunteer to sit on the floor because it's some, some sort of fire marshal hazard or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, that would, uh, that would just be a major fine if you tried that shit. So, I sat and wait and hope, and I was like, okay, maybe some people will actually walk out and if they do, other people will get in and that's what, what, that's what happened. 
I think I waited there for like five or ten minutes. We hear like a large applause in the back uh, in the background. They were laughing their asses off. Yeah, but but we heard a major applause, and Jordan looked at uh, looked at us and said, "Oh, Scott McNeil's in the panel." Yeah, that sounds about right. So yeah, that was one other reason why I stayed there, cause Scott McNeil was there, and I want to hear him say some really dirty things. <laughs> but luckily, a couple people left. I got, I put in my ID, I walked into the room, had a big smile to my friends, I was like, I didn't know if the other two guys were going to make it, but I was listening to some of the funny stories, um, we made about 20 minutes later, yeah, um, uh, by the way, um, Scott McNeil says on behalf of Canada, he would like to apologize for Justin Bieber, <laughs> Somebody actually asked him a question. It was like, would you like to be a part of a tentacle ray pen site or a one night stand with Justin Bieber? And everyone, of course, I, I can't believe someone actually asked that question. But whatever. He, it was, he, he, he took it pretty well. Uh, gave up uh, some hilarious answers. And some of the, funny con the funniest convention stories I heard from these people, like the fact that they were sharing conventions, like they were having conventions on same days as weddings or... Or another like some religious groups that don't know shit about anime or whatever and they're all of a sudden they just conflict with each other dude these are some funny ass stories and of course um, there was also a guest artist here that was also in the Ami. panel yeah uh, Ami Bel I don't know if I can say her name Belcher Belsier um, Part of the yeah. Ami Army or whatever, or late leader of the Ami Army. She keeps mentioning it, but since I don't know much about, um, I'll look up the website. Yeah, I'll look up. I'll, I'll look up her website. She, I know she runs a website, but she's the, I, I love it. Her I'm favorite. Sure she's the same artist that I bought that print from, and if it's her, well, she just said she did not apply for the remaking of the site, so it's probably has a different web address. But mm -hmm. it's web address on the front of the uh, print. Well, anyways. Uh, I love the fact that when they asked what their favorite super po uh, power they would like to have, she, her, her power wants, I want the power, any number of people, any location, whatever, I want, to t uh, I want them to take, uh, I want the power to take away their control of their bowels, because you can't fight in a situation like that, you're done for. <laughs> and then there was the uh, famous butterball fight that happened at one of the hotels between Monica and... Uh, Scott and a bunch of other VAs. <laughs> oh God! But yeah, there was some some raunchy ass shit. And if they ever do have like an uncensored AT and Up panel, uh, in your convention or whatever, I do recommend that you try to get there as soon as possible, because this is some. They this they, it was just a straight out funny, entertaining night, and I wasn't bored or tired throughout the whole night. I was there from like, I was basically there for tw uh, about 12 hours, from like 1 to 1 or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, the, co the convention happened a little earlier, but... That's a story for another day. Yeah, that's a story for another day that you guys will never know about. But yeah, as a first convention, first convention I've ever been to, I love it. I really hope I go to more conventions like that, like the uh, Louisiana May sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, love the fact that when I told Scott this was my first convention, he's like, "Hey, convergin no more." It was awesome, and he called me a loser too. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, well, uh, I don't know if there was any way I could close this. Um. You know, right after the panel, everything was closing up, so we basically took the hour drive back home. Uh, before that, we stopped at gas station, Arby's, whatever. But I don't know how to close it. Um, the convention was great. All the people, all the people uh, at the convention were really, really nice. I managed to steal some cake and some soda. And um, by the way, it is not a lie. Anyway. <laughs> And then I basically told the guy who was hosting cake where I was said, dude, I feel bad, but I, I think I, I, I took a piece of your cake and some soda without permission. Um, I noticed no one else was taking the cake or whatever. And he's like, oh, no, no, that's cool. Uh, you can have the cake. I'm like, oh, really? Thanks. <laughs> Mr. One, two, three, four, five. That's also the same combination to my luggage. 
That was his actual use. That was the actual name he was going under too at that convention, <laughs> Mister One Two Three Four Five. <laughs> um, all the cosplayers, not 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 a single one of them repulsed me. Even though Jordan told me that there was like an old dude cosplaying as Bridget from Guilty Gear. Thank God I missed that completely because I didn't see that. Good, thank God. Uh, I've seen pe I've, I've actually seen like people and their families there and. Um, some anime fans who are probably like fa uh, family members, or whatever. Uh, I've seen like an old guy and he cosplayed as Masaroshi. Yeah. Didn't have to do that much work. He didn't need a ball cap or anything because he was already old. No, he actually didn't have a ball yeah. cap. Yeah. Well, no, no. There was another Masaroshi cosplayer. He really was like 60 something years old. And he had the goatee glasses. And he, I believe he shaved some of his head, but he looks like he was bowling already. Mm -hmm. uh, really good cosplayer. Um, Usually I don't have, uh, there was nothing that, I didn't see anything that completely repulsed me because, well, I've been desensitized that much at this point. Yeah. Um, what else can I mention that I like? There was, there was barely any cons that I like other than the line waiting. Uh, waiting in line for autographs or you know to get into a panel and then almost not going into that panel that was that's the biggest uh, con I had with the con uh, uh, uh. Um, yeah but that was it there was really nothing else uh, mm -hmm. there, there, there was little things I hated about the convention well anyways it's almost time so with that um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog experience, Mike. Darkscreen217 signing out. Mitsuhide the Vagrant. See you later.